when someone dies we say god gave and god has taken but this is easy to say when it's not your loved one who has died in the recent years most celebrity couples who were happy together were separated by reason of death and most of them could not easily move on some were left as widows while some were left as widowers in this video we're going to look at 13 south african celebrities whose partners died tragically and were left as widows and widowers but before we proceed please like subscribe and hit the notification bell down below number one babes wudu she is a south african house musician and artist who was married to mambinja of the big nasquido trio the two got married in a colorful traditional wedding in 2021 after exchanging their vows despite the ups and the downs low lights and highlights of their marriage the two were happy and were an admirable power couple. All this ended in tears when Mambincha passed away due to a stroke on the 24th of December 2022. This was just a tragic death for Babes Wodumo, Mambincha's family and fans. He left Babes as a widow and his son Spone as an orphan. Number 2. Ayanda Nwani She's a popular actress, singer, businesswoman, and philanthropist. Ayanda was married to the late gospel artist Sviso Nwani in a beautiful wedding ceremony in 2002 when Aya was just 18 years old. Unfortunately, her husband died after succumbing to kidney failure on the 15th of December 2016. This was so painful since Sviso was still young. He was 37 years old when he died. Ayanda was left as a widow with two children, Nweti Nwani and Mawenza Nwani. Number 3 is Tembisi Matu. Known also as Petronella Matu is the South African actress Tembisi, who became famous for starring in the television serials such as The Queen, Rhythm City and Zone 14 to name a few. She was married to an Anglican minister, Peter Sibota, who passed away after drowning in a family pool in June 2019. This left a void in her life and there is no record if she ever married again. Number 4. Connie Ferguson If you have a South African television dramas that you are enjoying, you are probably familiar with Connie Ferguson. She is a South African actress, filmmaker, producer and businesswoman. She was married to the late Botswana-born actor and businessman Shona Ferguson. The two were the perfect couple of South Africa. Since they both worked together in establishing their business empire in the acting industry. Sadly, the Ferguson family and friends were left with a void after it was announced that Shona had passed away due to COVID-19 illness in 2021. He left behind Connie and his children, making her a widow. According to recent reports, Connie is believed to be in love again and seems like she is happy again. Number 5. Wise Man Nube So we have talked about female celebrities who lost their husbands. Now let's look at Wise Man Nube, a male celebrity who lost his partner. Before we dive into the details, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So Wise Man Mnube is known as an actor who portrays Sibonello in the SABC1 drama series Uzalo. The actor lost his wife in 2017 but there is no information of how she died. He was left with a daughter by the name of Rand. He was devastated when he received the news because he was on set shooting a scene of burying someone. He later found love again and he was blessed with a son. Number 6. Let's hear Hozulu. Most of you might not be familiar with Lisa Hozulu, who is a famous author in the country, but she is one of those women who lost their husbands due to tragic death. She was married to a famous singer, Gugu Zulu, who passed away on the 18th of July 2016 while attempting to summit the Mount Kilimanjaro. This he did as part of a Trek 4 Mandela expedition to raise funds for sanitary pads for schoolgirls. Unfortunately, it ended in death, which left Letejo as a widow. Number 7 is Nadia Nakai. So on number 7 we have Nadia, who is a famous Zimbabwean South African bass rapper. She was in a serious and long-term relationship with the late rapper and musician AKA. 
her boyfriend aka died tragically after being assassinated in Durban on the 10th of February 2023. No one was arrested for this as it is still under investigation but this was so painful for Nadia who went on to say she won't be in another relationship again after aka's death. The two were not married at the time of his death therefore we can't classify Nadia as a widow but she was left with a void. On number 8 we have Lerato Singadi. She might not be so familiar to most of people, but to those who knew the late hip hop Pantola and those who watch his Big Brother Africa are likely to know her. She was married to the late rapper WHP for two years before he passed away in October 2018. She was left a widow and with a void, but she never gave up on life. On number 9 is Bianca Naidu. Bianca was married to the late rapper Ricky Rick. She is known as a productions coordinator, which doesn't make her a celebrity, but she became famous for being Ricky Rick's wife. There is no date of when the two got married, since according to recent reports, the couple were never legally married. Ricky Rick left Naidu with two children, his son Mikey, born in 2014, and Naidu's daughter from the previous marriage. According to reports, Ricky Rick committed suicide, but there is no suicide letter which would tell the public why he did it. On number 10 is Tolu Mataba. She's an actress best known for her role as Devious Gold Digger Meme on the SABC2 soap opera Movango. Tolu got married to Chris Mataba on December 27, 2014, in Romokoka Stad. They were happy until Chris lost a battle with cancer in 2018 after almost four years together. Before his death, her husband was a radio DJ and presenter on Mutuili FM. Before that, Tolu dated fellow Movango cast member Dingan Mugebe, but their relationship ended after they accused each other of abuse. Number 11. Sims Ngema Sims is a South African actress, singer and television personality. She was married to former Rhythm City and pro footballer Dumima Silela until he was murdered in an attempted hijack in 2017. She was left as a widow, but she never gave up on her life and career. In 2020, she announced that she had found love again and was pregnant. She even gave the public the name of her boyfriend, who is Tino Chinyani, and said they were expecting a baby. On number 12, we have Kaisi Nula. Kaisi Nula, who is best known as the presenter for the show Our Perfect Wedding, was married to Farai Sibanda, who died in a car accident. The couple had been married for only 10 months when this tragic event happened. Kaisa was also injured during the car accident, but she survived. I knew that I was gonna get fined, I knew that I was heartbroken and battered. But now I had faith that I would live and so should my husband, she said in an interview on SABC2 talk show Motuako. So death was just not part of the plan, she said. Number 13 is Sikelelwa Ngubani. Sikelelwa is not famous for any work of her own, but for being the wife of the late actor Menzi Ngubani, who died after succumbing to a stroke. She was left as a widow and could not easily move on with her life. Menzi was known for playing a villainous character Sibusu Lomo in the soap opera Generations from 2003 to 2014. He died on 13 March 2021, leaving his fans and family in great sorrow. If this video was informative, like, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. Thank you for watching.